still sore from, uh, from yesterday. <laughs> First time, I'm sorry. Is okay. it doesn't blame the food also um, change the molecules? And, and you're also teaching the body now to handle uh, liquidated food instead of uh, whole food? Yeah, you could do you could do the um, this program and just chew it up. You know, if you were out there in the wild, what would you do? You would just chew it all up into a liquid, you know? But uh, most people, I've watched my friends eating, they'll stuff something in their mouth, chew it two, three times, you know, and swallow it. Um, but the um, the blender, it's it's just a mechanical um, change. It, if you leave it in there too long, it could it could reach a high temperature and, and become uh, you know changed uh, chemically. But as far as um, just blending it, it was, uh, the molecules are you know they're not that small. Um, first time I did the wall handstand here, I couldn't even uh, get up pretty much. I think I uh, I hit the wall and fell off. Um, my, even with Mike's help. But then uh, I went back to my gym and I did the other version. You see this version here where I'm facing away from the wall? Um, a lot harder. So I practiced the other one where you're facing the wall. Um, that's a little easier. But then we went back. It's also the more. best way to um, increase an athlete's thoracic spine extension, by the way. Another tidbit right there. You just go up and hold it and hold your chest? Yeah. Endurance. That gives us a good sign of the postural endurance of the uh, thoracic spine, the rib cage. That's the same for a headstand? Like a yoga position headstand? Um, not just a regular handstand like this. Could could it do that also? Oh, um, you, you could. Yeah. You could, but this is more of the, the forces that come through yeah, the arms. Yeah. So it's generating all through here. So that's great postural endurance mm -hmm. with these guys. Like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I felt it definitely opened me up. Oh, this is another one. Another good one. My clients hate me now because uh, after Mike showed me all this, I make them do it at, uh, before and after every workout. <laughs> this is tough. You guys are really good at it. This is another one. Uh, the supine bridge hold is great to build that extensor endurance. Um, the extensors tend to get kind of uh, weakened, so to speak, because gravity is pushing us down. Plus, we sit a lot. We have rounded lumbar spines, rounded thoracic spines. So this is a nice one if they have the flexibility. It looks very tight in the thoracic spine. Tends to move more from the lumbar. Yeah, flexibility, right? Yeah. yeah. I usually start on the ball. Shit, yeah. Start on the Swiss ball. So the contraction in the lumbar area is okay. Well, you're, he's contracting everything: his butt, his abs, to stabilize the lumbar spine. But what I'm, he's really doing here is he's pushing his arms out to get more of the scapular stabilizers as he pushes. So if someone looks at that, look at, oh, he's shearing his lumbar spine. He's ripping his back. It's like, no, 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 try it. And I'm making sure his butt muscles are contracting, his abs are contracting to balance out and neutralize the shearing forces. This is just a straight up, hey, nervous system, dude, extend. And he's doing it body weight and just for time. He went up 30 seconds. It's very hard to do at least 30 seconds. This one's good ab exercise. We did uh, five minutes on the mat there, just going back and forth. The one way is um, an inchworm, the other way is a squirm. It's like uh, the military crawl, only on your back. It's a great ab exercise. Um, yeah, what I noticed here was just that uh, I was able to, um, you know, my muscles didn't get tired as quick. I didn't feel the burn as fast. And um, when I did, it just wasn't as bad. That was a test of um, power endurance, where he was doing an inchworm lying on his back, no arms, no legs, just using his core muscles on a 10-foot mat that I have up and down. And we timed, we, we measured it by laps. So in five minutes of the technical round in his, in his profession, how many laps could he do as fast as he can? Wait, side to side? Or up just, down, just up side and side. down, up and down. Oh, okay. So you're lying on your back, you're going towards your head, you're going down towards your feet. No arms, no legs, strictly so core. means five minutes. Okay. This will help your jujitsu like off the charts. I was gonna say, that's yeah. gotta be really good for that. So he did eight and a quarter, and then he did ten and a half. That's, that's I, uh, I can't even do that. Well, then again, I'm gonna fight. <laughs> 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 that's, that's pretty phenomenal um, in that short amount of time. So that, that kind of clues me in on, on, on certain things about <laughs> we're really stumbling on something here where you don't need, here's a dude, he's not eating anything. 
Well, he's eating stuff, but he's doing it in a way. He's getting the nutrition. He's getting the life force. But there's nothing wasted. Everything he's taking is very efficient. The body will use it, and it will quickly discard whatever it does. Rather than shotgun approach, got everything. I feel good, but I'm still overall I'm weighed down. This is this is the way to go, guys. This is. So do you guys eat like strictly organic and stuff like that? Do you find it to be more expensive? Like is it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, not that that would shy me away. I'm just saying, you know, I know that's because that's a common, common thing. Yeah. Well, most organic out there is only 30% organic, if that. I mean, that's USDA, you know, and they run the show. It, yeah, that's true. true right? That's true. That's, it, true. It, that's why. That's why. To talk about money and expenses, locally grown, farmers market at Union Square, locally grown, f ripe, very important. The most nutrition is in the produce when it's ripe. So if you don't have availability of, of an organic or whatever, sometimes these organics, they're coming from like New Zealand. What's that doing for the planet? Even though if it's locally grown, even though it's locally, uh, it's, it's conventional, but it's locally grown, chances are there's still a lot more life force in there because it's fresher, okay? Whereas when they ship this out two, 3,000 miles away, and it's not even ripe yet because it was frozen, that's, that's, that's a Walmart um, move right there, okay? That's just... Um, the powers that be taking a good organic phrase or term and trying to make money off of it. So this is the way you guys are going to wake yourselves up, clean yourself out on the inside, you'll start seeing things differently. Okay? He's using his head as a, also as a lever, yeah, for his spine, because that's where the cervical spine is connected to the rest of the spine. If he has it off, he's really just promoting more of this. Okay, so this is more of just keep the head down, and you can only move a certain way. Going up towards your 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 head up here, it's more of like a side bending, frontal plane motion, just like this, no twisting. If you're moving down towards the feet, it's like a worm. You know, like that old, you know, break dance. You know, like, like <laughs> well, maybe do a windmill. So try doing that each way for five minutes. He's, and he told me the other day, he had one of his clients do it, and he's like, yeah, they did it, whatever. But then two days later, they complain, oh, my, please, oh, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell. It's a killer ab workout. You don't need equipment. All right, so. Uh, Hi, Mike. Hi, when we met up yesterday, I had lost five pounds over the two weeks. Um, my body fat didn't go down. We think it was because of um, lack of sleep the night before. Um, I guess the best way of doing body fat is the uh, submersion in the water. We did the, um, the electric thing. Five and pieces. So, um, went down uh, an inch in my waist. And then I saw everything else improved. Fiber intake. Yeah, life food is, uh, everything's fiber. Um, yeah. You know, seeds, nuts, fruits, vegetables, it's all. It's all like, yeah. No change in the personal vegetables. Because fiber is the, the holding together for, for a yeah. structure. Yeah, that's why um, nutritional fasting, as compared to other detox programs, juicing, well, blended food has the whole food, the whole complex. When you just juice, you're just taking half the enzymes, all the sugar, no fiber, no other molecules, no other nutrients. So this is why this is a, Dr. Joe's been doing this for 30, 40, I don't know, he, guy must be like 200 years old, he's so like beyond that level. <laughs> but the point being is blended food, it makes so much sense, you got the whole complex. Now here's one more thing, I don't know if you're taking your time here, but do not get stuck in a protein, a carbohydrate, and a fat in your food. Food is a complex. Your body doesn't know what the hell a protein, a carbon, and a fat is. It only knows food complexes energy-wise. So when you start eating food as life energy, see what happens is, you know, we're, we could be talking, you know, I'm going to get right to it. When you clear yourself out, you, intuitively, you start sensing things that are right for you. Right now, you probably have that. If you take like a, a locally grown orange or something and uh, unripe organic orange, you'll feel, which one feels has more energy into it? It's just like uh, no different than if you go to somebody who's in a bad mood, you can feel their energy. Whereas somebody who's like, like I don't know, like religious or very, like the Dalai Lama or something, you know, somebody like spiritual, you're like, whoa, there's a difference. There's, there's, some, there's a different polarity there. Same thing with food, man. Yes? I have a question. Let's say if I blend the 